Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm going to be talking about Star Wars Black Series. We had some stuff announced over this weekend at Toy Fair and I'm going to talk to you today about that. Some really cool new stuff, some stuff we already knew that was coming but some new product shots of it and we got some brand new stuff that we did not know was coming and I am pretty pleased with I'd say most of it. So I'm going to talk through and pictures are going to show up of all the new stuff and I'm going to talk through what I think of each figure. So coming in first guys, we are getting Black Series Pogs. It's a tiny Tiny, tiny little box of these porgs you can see up on the screen now I don't know how much these are going to cost hopefully next to nothing because they are very small but there's something I'll definitely pick up for a display definitely about three or four of, of about three probably about three or four packs of these to make the, like a little nest of porgs on my display shelf so that'd be pretty cool I'm really sort of excited for those in a way to pose there with my Chewbacca but we are getting this uh, Amazon exclusive three packs up on the screen now the picture of these three droids we're getting R2D2 and then two other droids I think that's R5 and the other one I'm not too sure about the green one not familiar with that character but this is going to be a free pack exclusive to Amazon I will definitely pick this up I haven't got an R2-D2 he's been the bane of my existence trying to hunt him down and I'll definitely get this one and even though this one's more of a dirty up one hopefully I can find the original but these are looking cool we're getting a Grand Admiral Holdo Black Series which is really cool I really like this uh, figure I really like the fact that they've used cloth material for her dress and they've kept that purple hair looking good I really am looking forward to this figure and I've I've got a Last Jedi collection, so this will come nicely with that. This will come nicely with that alongside my General Leia and my Poe Dameron. So these, this is looking really cool and I'm really glad we are getting this. A lot of people will be disappointed about this character because they didn't really like her or whatever. But I'm really pleased we're getting it. Any Black Series they make of any Star Wars character I'm normally pretty happy about. We are getting our final Bounty Hunter. We have had all these Bounty Hunters announced and announced and announced and I was waiting for it. And finally we are getting Zuckus. He's up on the screen now. Zuckus will complete our Bounty Hunter set once they release the other two. Which I have product shots of I've screenshotted and I'll show later in the video but he is looking amazing I just think Zuckus is going to be a brilliant figure I think it's exclusive to Toys R Us I'm not sure if it's going to work in the UK you can probably pick that up at Forbidden Planet here but in the US it's definitely exclusive to Toys R Us after all this time we're finally getting a Gamorrean guard I cannot wait for this Star Wars Black series I'm definitely going to get one two or three of these to display with Jabba this is something we needed for a long time I still do I still do want a bit Fortuna Black series as well but now we've got these guards it's one step closer to the Fortuna Black Series and I think if we had a bit Fortuna it would just look really good in the display with Valacious Crumb, um, Jabba the Hutt and now these guards so I'm really looking forward to these coming out and then using cloth material as well for their like the fur for their um, bottom halves which is looking great I think that looks really cool and I cannot wait to get these for my collection we're also getting Captain Wolf I'm sure that's his name I'm not too sure to be honest I'm not familiar familiar with his character but it's up on the screen now it's another clone commander and that head sculpt is looking really good that's really on point I really like that I've just recently picked up Rex and it is looking great and so I'm real we'll pick this one up for his, I've got Gree, Cody and Rex and I'll definitely be picking this one up as well it looks brilliant now this is the one of the ones I'm most excited for it's um, Hoff a version of Princess Leia and that face sculpt is just to die for that is brilliant I cannot believe how they've nailed this face sculpt it just looks amazing and I know they're using that face scanning technology now Hasbro and it's paying off because this figure looks amazing but I've got Sony Princess Leia figures now I think about three or four but none of them will ever come to par with this Princess Leia and I couldn't be more happy with it and I cannot wait to have it in my collection. We're also getting Woody Harrelson's character from the Solo movie. I have avoided spoilers from this so I don't even know the character's name. I don't want to search anything about Solo but here it is up on the screen. I can see it's Woody Harrelson and I just we'll pick that up as well and they have announced previously I did put on my Instagram if you follow me in the description below I did put the pictures of the new um, Han Solo wave up there as well. So we're getting a young Han Solo a young um, Han Solo that looks really cool as well. We're getting a young Lando, which I cannot wait for. I think that looks really cool. And we're getting a new character, the woman that plays Daenerys Targaryen in Game of Thrones. I don't know the character's name, but she's up on the screen. That looks great. And then we're getting this new sort of stormtrooper, I imagine that is, with fur around the neck and those new cool boots. 
that looks awesome. I, when I saw these pictures, I thought, yes, I'm so excited for Solo now, because whenever there's Star Wars stuff coming out, we know we're getting new Black Series, and I cannot wait for all of those figures. They look really, really good. And also, they just gave us some new, to some shots of some things that we've already seen, like another Lando, which will go really well with the Gamorrean Guard, because he's dressed in this Jabba's Palace stuff, where he sort of helped Han on that escape. We're just getting a Rebel Trooper as well, which is really cool with the long white helmet. It's about time we got one of those. So definitely army build a few of those. Like I do my Stormtroopers, I'll definitely get one or two of those. We're getting Dengar as well, which is looking really good. I'd love the product shots of that figure. I never get tired of seeing it. I just cannot wait to get my hands on that Dengar. We're getting a Grand Moff Tarkin, which they've used that face scanning stuff for, and I just really want that. Peter Cushion Grand Moff Tarkin, I just cannot wait for that in my collection. It just seems long overdue. I, I can't track down the Emperor uh, for my collection but I definitely would like this as well and hopefully I'll release a different version of the Emperor in the future and then we're getting the other bounty hunter whose name escapes me at the moment I will write it on the screen when I edit this he's sort of the half bug half sort of C-3PO droid and he sort of goes with Zuckus, so I really cannot wait to get him as well. So there's a good lot of Star Wars Black Series stuff that has been announced. And I believe they're doing some sort of original card stuff as well, up on the screen as well. You can see a Jin and a Snoke. And then they're doing a sort of a Rebel Trooper, like a Hoff Trooper, I think that is. And they are doing a, a, a First Order Store Trooper. A first, order, a first Order Stormtrooper, they're doing a, like a Ray, all in like these Kenner packaging, like the old school stuff, and I cannot wait for that. And they've got the Doom Bat or the Doom Bar with the Stormtrooper riding it as well, as well as Ray on the speeder, which we've had, I've had for a while now. But these are all looking really cool. And then we've got a product shot of like a new tank, like a tank from Rogue One in the original packaging as well. So I'm not sure about these. I've just seen a few product pictures, but they are, they all look really cool. As you can see them all up on the screen now, and I cannot wait to pick up every Every single one of these I will buy them all black series is one of my favorite lines of toys one of my favorite collectibles and I will definitely be picking them up. so guys let me know if you collect Star Wars black series and let me know what you think of all these new releases I'm so excited for all the stuff that's coming in 2018 and I'm sure they're gonna announce new stuff at comic-con and I just cannot wait for all these figures to be in my hands and in my collection so make sure you smash that like button guys if you like this video drop me a comment down below and just let me know what you thought of all the Star Wars black series releases don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have subscribed, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, description in the link below, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.